Hey guys, it is Saturday morning here in the Philippines, and as promised, we're doing our second car from Jay Leno's garage. This is the second and last one I bought from this set. This is your 66 Chevrolet Corvair Yanko Stinger. This is a really sweet car. Always loved these body styles. Wish they would have been front engine uh, cars, but they weren't. But I have seen a couple of them converted at car shows in Cleveland where they were front engine, rear wheel drive. They installed a dry shaft tunnel. So then transmission tunnel, I guess I would call it. Um, so they could make them rear wheel drive and they were really sweet. Um, because especially this body style, this, I guess it was like 65 and 66 looks similar. Oh, or 66, 67. But yeah, these are very cool looking cars. Uh, like kind of a miniature 66 Chevelle in a way, minus the grill detail and such. But the body lines and stuff and the roof line seems similar to me. Um, but yeah, as I went over yesterday, there's five cars in this set. Two older castings, the Mercedes 300 SL and the McLaren F1. But these three here are all new castings. We did the Lambo yesterday, which is probably my favorite, although I do love this Corvair. The... Tank car is cool, but I think, I don't know, myself, I would use it as like a wheel donor for the gassers, as I said, but still yet not bad. Let me get it a little closer so you guys can see them better. Um, but it is actually a really cool set uh, of the Leno's cars, and they know they have some other uh, Leno's garage cars out. Um, I don't know if it came in like a box set or something like that, but there is one. Um, it's like a boat tail car or something like that, I think it was. Um, but anyways, um, it would be cool to see more of these, like a whole, like maybe 30 or 40 car set of Leno's cars, because I know he's got a bunch of cars that would be sweet for a Hot Wheels premium series with classics, Euros, muscle, everything. So it would be a great lineup, uh, that could fill like a whole car culture year for Hot Wheels, uh, just with Leno's collection. So you have your Yanko emblem, all of your licensing here. Just notice that Yanko emblem. That's pretty cool. So this one I already popped open yesterday. I just kind of taped it back closed um, because as you've seen with the Lambo, I was trying to show you guys how to open it without damaging the cards. But with these premiums, it's kind of hard um, because they started really using a lot of glue on the blister and a thicker plastic. But for some reason, the RLC stuff and the melon stuff still are not glued so well. And you can easily pop the blisters off and not really even tear the card. Sometimes the glue, you can even see where it's glued, like spots here, there, and wherever. But this one, they did a really good job, like, gluing it down. And I have another piece of tape here, I guess. Um, yes, I did. So, anyways, there we go. So, as you can see, it tore the card too, but as I mentioned, it's not too bad. Like, if you wanted to take the time and glue some of the paper back down and then just glue the car back in, even the car would cover part of those paper tears. So, um, really, you could re-card it if you wanted to display it carded. And these do have pretty cool card art uh, with the Jay Leno's garage and stuff. Pretty cool. But I have to open them. love to open these things. So, even if I'm not going to keep them, I still love to open them. Same style wheel, like the Wontanabe Mini Light style wheel, like that was on the Lambo. Except this is a really small diameter. I don't think I've seen these wheels in that small of diameter before. Um, so that may be a first, first two. I know this wheel is an older release wheel, but in this diameter, it's quite small. Like the little four spokes that were on like the little Fiat that was released a couple of years back. Um, and as I mentioned yesterday in the Lambo video, as you could see, the paint is really orange pilled on this. It's just where they spray the paint on, and I think it's baked on, kind of like a powder coating type of thing. Um, but yeah, that's, as you can see, a lot of orange pill, but um, still not bad. And nice with the blue tampos on the rocker, the blue racing stripe. Another really detailed casting with the window trim. The wipers are even painted separately. You have the little emblems on the B pillar. Side glass is rolled up. It is a hard top, so that would have just been a little piece of chrome trim between the quarter glass and the door glass. Has the vent window defined there with the trim. Really cool. Let me get it closer for you guys. 
And then the Tell Light Tampo is great. And Corvair emblems, the rear wing, the exhaust cutout, and the rear valence panel, the real thin bumpers. Very cool. And I think the bumpers are actually separate chrome pieces from the body. So that also gives it a really nice detail. This is a really sweet casting, actually, in my opinion. Nice door handle detail. Didn't do the tampo on it, the chrome, though. I'm surprised because they did it everywhere else, like on the windshield, wipers, around the rear, rear window and such. There's your gas tank door on the front fender. Because these were rear engine, as I mentioned, or mid-engine, you should they would say. And then you could see headlight detail and the uh, blue tampos around the headlight. And then, I don't know, that may be a Yanko emblem there. I can't recall. Let me see if we can see that on the card. And such. It just is like a Corvair emblem. But anyways... Pretty cool looking car. And the headlights look to be also like an acrylic headlight lens. That is really sweet. And then you have the front marker lights. So you have separate headlight lenses on this, separate bumpers and such. This is a really nice casting by Hot Wheels. A nice detail. Really would love to see this car come out as maybe even a RLC release and some other color available it would be nice like the blue one there is a blue like a marina blue one with white stripe I think it was kind of reversed this kind of reminds me of like the 69 Trans Ams and other Trans Ams with the white with the blue stripe but in the 70s they had the um single headlight bird with the um blue paint white stripe and the white paint blue stripe and that was really cool and I think they did that with the Corvair too. So it would be cool to see them release that color combo too. But I'm really shocked that the headlights are actually separate. They may be part of the window bucket, but I don't think so. I think they're actually separate, but they could be part of the window bucket. Because they've done that on a couple others. Like the Subaru Melon that I unboxed for you guys the other day. It had the headlights cut out too and it was part of the window bucket i believe so there is your corvair very sweet car from hot wheels and the leno's grad series highly recommend to get this one guys just because of the detail is awesome uh so i will be back probably in a day or two with some more stuff um because we did order a few things they're coming in short little uh, by little and I do have one of the JK's garage cars here the pink 65 Impala But I'm waiting for the Ranchero so I can do both of those together because the Impala is loose and the Ranchero is carded But on a bad card so I will open it up and show you both of them at the same time in the same video um, So I appreciate you guys watching have a great weekend and I will probably be, be, be back on Sunday or Monday so take care, guys.